station. His dedication and love for our country undoubtedly honors Kenya, East Africa, Africa, and in the world. He leaves behind a more united and prosperous Kenya, as well as a template for servant leadership, which we must continue to nurture and improve for generations to come. And on his passing, today we once again renew our pledge in tribute to our great leader to foster as we mourn the passing of an icon we can rejoice in the lifelong companionship he enjoyed with his now departed wife her excellency mama lucy kibaki and his extended family today our sincere sympathy to his children Judy Wanjiko, Jimmy Kibake, David Kagi, and Tony Githenji, and to their families, and for all who mourn the passing of this great leader. As the late former president served Kenya, Africa, and the world, he also remained a deeply devoted family man, an avid golfer, and an earnest friend to many. To them we say that while Emilio Mwai Kibaki is no longer with us in body, his spirit, legacy, values, and ideals live on in each one of us and in the limitless ways that he made Kenya immeasurably better. Mwai Kibaki lives on in the hearts of millions of Kenyans, East Africans, and Africans who benefited from his leadership, admired his character, and were inspired by his example. Mwai Kibaki lives on in our fond memories of his strength of will, his charm, his wit, and his passionate love for God, for family, and for nation. In honor of the life and times of the late former President Emilio Stanley Mwai Kibaki, and on behalf of a grateful nation, I, Uhuru Kenyatta, under the authority vested in me as the President of the Republic of Kenya, and the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces do hereby order and direct that one, in testimony of the highest of esteem in which all Kenyans hold the purpose of Mwai Kibaki, the nation will observe a period of national mourning from today until sunset that President Mwai Kibaki shall be accorded a state funeral with full military honors and protocols being rendered and observed. Three, that the flag of the Republic of Kenya shall be flown at half-mast at State House and all Kenyan diplomatic missions, public buildings, public grounds, all military bases, posts, and stations on all naval vessels of the Republic of Kenya and elsewhere throughout the entire territory of the Republic of Kenya from today until sunset on the day of his internment. And four, that the President, the Deputy President, the Chief Justice, Cabinet Secretaries, the Speaker of the National Assembly, the Speaker of the Senate,
Kenya's diplomats abroad, and whomsoever else is so authorized by law, national flag on their official motorcade from sunset on the day of his internment. May Pre President Kibaki's family be comforted, may his memory be honored, and may his example be emulated. This issued under the hand and seal of the President at State House Nairobi on the 22nd day of April, the year of our Lord, 2022.
Toa hizi mike uzime upatie huyo. Utoe uzime upatie. ambapo ametangaza kifo cha aliyekuwa rais wa tatu wa taifa Jamhuri la Kenya Emilio Stanley Mwai Kibaki ambaye ameiaga dunia rais uh, Emilio Kibaki alihudumu kama rais wa tatu wa Jamhuri ya Kenya kati ya mwaka 2002 na, na, na kumi na tatu na Kibaki alizaliwa katika mji wa Kibaki.